Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm Sam Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Sense. So today I went to Marshalls and I'm going to take you for a look around. It's not my Marshalls, it's a stock photo. So here we are at the soap section. I was obsessed with these egg-shaped Easter-inspired soaps. They had raspberry sorbet, $4.99. They didn't smell all that great though. Um, they had some other Easter soaps, Spring Garden, Happy Spring. And then they had... I don't know what that one was. $5.99. I don't need any more soap, obviously. Then they had, this was Spring Garden. I don't, th I think that one smelled worse than the Raspberry Sorbet. One of them smelled really bad. They were $4.99. This one was okay. Happy Easter Spring Bouquet, I think that said. And they had, you know, just like bunny soaps, different bunny soaps. More bunnies. Bunny Blossoms, $5.99. This I never heard of, Mood Essential Oil. And then they had the African Black Soap. This was a facial cleanser. It looked like it would be a little bit too harsh for me though. It looked like an exfoliating type cleanser, scented facial cleanser. Then they had a couple of other ones. The Elf Jelly Pop in Watermelon didn't smell as good as I thought it was going to. And then they had all these like oils and things that I never look at. The wet detanglers, they had the limited edition Barbie. They had this one, this is Savage from the Disney Villains. Somebody tell me what villain that is. And then they had Marilyn Monroe. These are faux eyelashes. I didn't need that. I was looking for some kind of Marilyn Monroe makeup. So they had this uh, pencil set, $6.99. Then I found this champagne and rose red gloss duo. That was the only makeup I could find in the Marilyn Monroe collection. Right, so let's see, what else? The 90s Remix Dance Palette. They also have the 80s one, the one that I bought on Ulta. They had that one. They had the 90s one, very highly pigmented. You know, uh, it kind of looks like the 80s palette, but it's the 90s Remix Palette. And this was how much? $9.99. They had some Morphe. I was very tempted. That Fuchsia one that's in the moment. And what was that other one? Simpsons Revolution Treehouse of Horror Lip Gloss Set. This was $5.99. I was so tempted. You know I love all things Simpsons. This is what it looked like. I was like, mm, nah. Then they had this Bright Blooms Pressed Pigment Palette for $4.99. They had the Nikita Palette from Morphe. I know uh, Twisted Gypsy bought this recently. I mean, the colors, they, they're kind of all the same as, as like the 80s Remix Palette or the 80s, no, it's not 80s something palette. They had Philosophy Confetti Birthday Cake. This had a hole punched in the top seal. And it didn't smell as good as I thought it was going to smell. And for $19.99, nah. Then they had this Praline Crunch. I don't know what it smelled like. It was sealed. So that was the philosophy I saw. Hemp Seed and Tea Tree. Egyptian Cotton. They had this stuff I've never heard of. Cocoa Magic. Coconut Lavender Hand Cream. They had Honest Face and Body Lotion. This, um... Marine algae and eucalyptus smelled weird. I've never heard of this company, Jason. So if anybody's heard of it, they had herbs and shea butter. This was so cute. Oh my God, SpongeBob eyeshadow palette. But I was not nuts about the colors. Lots of yellows. And as you can see, one of the pans was uh, busted. But it was really pretty, and I was so tempted to get it just for the design. But $12.99, I don't know. Then this one, I keep looking at it. 
take me back to Brazil, but it looks just like the 80s palette and the pans are very small. You can't really tell there, but the pans are very, very small. They're like the size of a dime. So I put that back. Rio edition. And this was $12.99. What else? I really thoroughly looked at the makeup. Here's the Jaclyn Hill um, makeup. And what else? So then I went over to Candles. They had Positive Vibes. They had Sea Salt and Vanilla, Cinnamon, Apple, and Oats. Amazon Palm in Glitter. Was tempted. Put it back. Modern Gentleman actually smelled really good. Then Tropical Rainforest, Sand and Paws. So that was basically it that I wanted to show you. So stay tuned for my haul. shipped my new tripod with microphone so hopefully the sound issue will be taken care of soon in the meantime I'm going to show you what I picked up in Marshalls I went a little cuckoo bananas just a little bit um yeah I know what you're going to say you're going to say scent maven for somebody who does not wear makeup hardly ever you certainly buy a lot of it but let me show you what I got so the first thing that I picked up because I thought I was going to get out of there cheap I treated myself to a Valentine's Day pair of pajama shorts. These are size extra large, but they have a good amount of stretch. So I think I'll be fine. And these were on clearance for $4 marked down from $12.99. So, whoa, I have a pink shirt somewhere I could wear with this. And they're nice and soft. On my way out, I picked up a two pack of these reusable grocery bags because I actually lost a, I have plenty. I had to throw out one cause it got damaged, but I have plenty of bags. I didn't need more, but this one is so cute. It says farmer's market, locally grown organic produce. And it just has this like, you know, farmer's feel to it. Of course it says Marshall's on the side. But this is like a good size bag. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's more rectangular than it is. Um, it's no, it's always a rectangle, but it's more vertical than it is horizontal. You know, so I, that's why I like these bags. And then I was wondering, well, if one bag is a dollar, how much is two bag? How much are two bags? So this was a dollar seventy nine for two of the identical farmers market bags. This was the only kind of bag that they had. Um, you know me, I love a reusable bag. Then I picked up, I finally broke down and bought pink sugar in the glossy shower gel. I have been wanting to try pink sugar for like over a year and I just can never bring myself to buy it. I saw it in gift sets at Christmas time. Finally, I said, you know what? I am finally going to try Pink Sugar by Aqualina and see what it's like. And this was $6.99. This is made in Italy. It just smells like cotton candy sugar. Please ignore my dog that has to drink his water during my video. Always. So I'm going to try this in the shower. They had the perfume... For $12.99. This was $6.99. The, but the perfume for $12.99 was like real small. So I'm going to try the shower gel and see how it is. Then, what should I show you? Okay. I, I broke down and got it. I broke down and got it. The I Heart Revolution Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles Body Butter. I've seen it a few times. I passed it up. This is what it looks like. It smells like cocoa pebbles. I just, I had to try it. It smells creamy and like cocoa pebbles. So I had to try it. I love these collabs that are like, you know, the cartoony collabs with the makeup companies and stuff. And this was, 
This says chocolate scented body butter. And this was $3.99. So you can't go wrong for $3.99. Then, okay. You guys know that I, I went crazy over the Barbie collab makeup and also the Jessica Rabbit makeup, which I could not find any more Jessica Rabbit makeup. I should have picked up that second eyeshadow palette when I saw it, but this time I found the iHeart Revolution Snow White highlighter. This was $3.99, so I picked up two. This is so beautiful. One of them was opened and one of them wasn't. But the one that was opened wasn't like messed with. So maybe I'll use the open one and then the one that's sealed I will keep as like a collector's item with my Jessica Rabbit. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. It looks like a book. I open this now oh okay so it opens like a book and there's the apple there's your highlighter which is something I do use highlighter I do is something I do use it has a, the plastic over it and then it says mirror mirror on the wall that is so pretty I had to pick up a second one and for $3.99 it's just like it's so so pretty so then what else did I get? I'm trying to seal this up here. They only had two, so I picked up the two. I did end up getting the Marilyn Monroe. The Marilyn Monroe Champagne and Rose Red Gloss Duo. This was expensive at $7.99 but Marilyn Monroe how could I you know how could I not try Marilyn Monroe makeup so this is what is it champagne and rose red so here's the champagne and it has her signature on it and then here's the rose red And then it says Besame on it, which is Spanish for kiss. I don't know why they would put that on there, but. And it's just the doe foot applicator. Let's see what the other one looks like. I know you're going to say if you got the Marilyn one, why didn't you get the Simpsons one? I don't know. I just, I couldn't commit to the Simpsons one. So. Yeah, so I picked up the Marilyn Gloss Duo. There was no other Marilyn makeup that I would use. I don't use false eyelashes. I wasn't going to use that brow that brow pencil set. Um, they didn't have any lipstick. They didn't have any blush. They didn't have any eyeshadow. This was the closest thing to uh, makeup that I could find in the Marilyn Monroe collection. Then I did find plenty of makeup. So I did break down and you know what? I haven't even really used my 80s palette, which I have two of because Ulta sent me one with one of the pans broken, so they sent me a replacement one. I, I think I've used it once. So I got the, the 90s Remix Dance palette. This was $9.99. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. I showed you in the store. It says, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my look. So they're playing on the Spice Girls thing. Um, so this is what the, the shadows look like. And of course, they're all uh, 90s themed. I'm going to drop this on the floor. They're all 90s themed. Um, what do you call it? Uh, names. And they have, there's a mix of mattes and shimmers yeah this is really these are really 90s names so i'm gonna go across here of course you're not gonna be able i'm gonna go across this way 
Okay. So this is Supermodel, Be My Lover, Jiggy, Wannabe, No Scrubs, Genie, Hit Me Baby, Can Touch, Heartbreaker, Say My Name. This one is on blue. Creep, Too Sexy, Show Me Love, and Living, no, not Live Even, it's just La Vida Loca. I can't imagine, maybe St. Patrick's Day. Maybe this this will be a good St. Patrick's Day look. You know, maybe with some of this as a highlight in there. Mix some of the Say My Name with La Vida Loca and then just highlight a bit with the supermodel. Yeah. So we'll try to do, we'll try to do a um, St. Patrick's Day green eyeshadow look. Then I'm going to save the one for last, the one that's not open, the one that I had to Google to find out what it looked like. So this one had an alarm on it because I guess people were stealing it. I don't know. This They had two palettes by Jaclyn Hill. I have no idea who she is. Anyway. So this is Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. This is Bling Boss. The rest of them were called like dark star or star light or dark something. I don't know. So all the other ones were the same. They had like three other ones, but they were the dark, dark night, dark light, star night, whatever the hell it was. They only had one of the bling boss. So I was like, the, these shadows are interesting to me. And it has a really, really deep purple in there. Let me, there goes the, can you see that really deep purple? So these are some really nice colors. Um, so we have this one, I don't know the titles here, what they signify. So it's, it's the Bling Boss palette. So we're going to go this way and then this way. So it says Bling Bling Hush Hush Gem. That's this one, Gem. Uh, Pizzazz, Mystic, Spark, Glitz and Glam, Rockstar, Ballsy, and Buried Treasure. Buried, not buried. So it has, of course, um, some mattes and it has some shimmers. These look really, really, really pigmented. And very, very pigmented. I'm a little bit worried about that. You guys... You guys out there in YouTube land scared me a little bit with the pigmented uh, shadows because um, you told me that they could stain my lids. Somebody told me the trick to, I don't know if it's putting Vaseline on your lid first. I always put eyeshadow primer on anyway, but if there's a trick to having, um, to not having highly pigmented um shadows stain your lids please put it down below and tell me more about the Jaclyn Smith bling boss this was $12.99 and then the last palette that I got this was only $5.99 this is the revolution makeup revolution London fierce wild animal palette this was only $5.99 you can't even see the colors on the back. Why do they do that? So, oh, let me open this. I need a scissor or something to open this. I was going to put a scissor near me to be able to open this. So I had a, when they don't, sh excuse me for a moment. If they don't show the The colors on the palette, you have to Google it in order to find out what the, what the hell the colors look like. So I thought this was interesting because usually, you know, I go for purples and pinks, mostly purples. And this was more of like a, you know, like beigey kind of nude, not even nude, but okay, I got it. That was attractive. Okay, so this is my Valentine's Day gift to myself. 
all this stuff here. I'm going to have to start a series of project use what I buy instead of just like buying stuff and having it collect dust. So we're going to open this palette up. This is the Fierce Wild Animal Palette. This is pretty. Look, it's, it's got like a, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. It has like this matte animal print on the front. Oh, and you can't tell from the, the box how really like pretty and shiny this is. I hope that the, the, uh, the pans are not really super small. No, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm so glad I got this. You could not, okay, so it has this huge mirror. Look at that. And I, you could not tell from the picture online how gorgeous that palette is. That is really nice. There are some very good colors in there. So those are not usually colors that I have or that I've used, but of course you get your mix of mattes and um, shimmers and there's some highlighting uh, ones, highlighter ones in there. Um, this is just so, so pretty. I have no idea how that's considered the wild animal palette because it doesn't really have like wild animal tones. I would think it would be mostly nudes and browns and stuff, but you have some purples and mauves in there, pinks and uh, really nice oranges, warm tones for the spring. You have a good mix of warm and dark tones, shimmer and matte um, finishes. This is a really nice palette that you, it's, you can't, this is not doing it justice. You have to see it uh, in person. And then the, just the outside of it is just so, so pretty. For $5.99, that is a really good deal. So I'm glad I picked that up. And that is everything. So let's go over it again. Fierce Wild Animal Palette. The Morphe Jacqueline Hill Bling Boss Palette. The... 90s Remix Dance Palette. Pink Sugar, which I'm going to be using this very soon, either today or tomorrow. Pink Sugar Glossy Shower Gel. The Cocoa Pebbles. I Heart Revolution Cocoa Pebbles Body Butter. Two of the Snow White, the I Heart Revolution Snow White highlighters one of the Marilyn Monroe lipstick uh, lip gloss duo the farmer's market bags and the uh, Clarence heart pajamas so that's my Valentine's Day gift to myself a little uh, beauty and you know love so there um, that's it. Okay. So remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at shopping and sense. I will see you all in a future video, but until then goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.